Hello everybody! What's up? I am Ninja Buddy. Here I am with Arma Tactics. This is more of a review video. Now, first off, if you're coming from the last video, I want to apologize for if you watched it. That was a terrible video I did. I really regret it. I just had a lot of stupid things. I don't know what was wrong with me. But anyway, here I am back with it with more thoughts, more collected. I want to skip right to the gameplay. I'll annotate it over here somewhere, I think. Um. Anyway, I, before that, I'm going to talk more about the engine, stuff like that. So, if you're sticking around for this, first off, this is a Unity game engine. It's really simple, has some benefits because of its simplicity, but it's not very refined, it has some issues, and if you, you can actually click out of the game if you move your cursor too much to the side if you use multiple monitors like I am, which is really annoying. You have your options, they're not really that impressive, you have different languages, a lot of languages apparently, there we go, I don't know English, maybe a little bit of Deutsch, and that's it. Difficulty, Fog of War, etc. You can use the gamepad if you like using a controller, if you're using it as an HTPC or something. Now for the armory here. You have some different weapons, a lot of them act the same way, like the M249 and M4. There's not really that much difference between them. This, you have very poor accuracy for your one action point shot, but high accuracy in your second action point shot. You'll see what I'm talking about later. I actually have not used this, and the rest are just the standard array of items. You can also organize your team. Um, this was not in the beta, so I'm glad I'm touching on this again. Your soldiers now have different stats and specialties they can have, which is kind of a nice touch, because that's one thing I didn't like about the, uh, when it was in beta, the soldiers just seemed kind of there. You didn't have any specialization to that, and they were all the same. Anyway, let's just go through the first mission so you can see what it is like. Maybe no one behind. And, oh, it's not, it's loading screen. Okay, I'm going to zip it for now. No proper equipment. No intel to speak of. Heavily outnumbered. Expected civilian casualties if we fail. Over 10,000. I really hope Lady Luck owes us a favor or two. Impressive entry, my friends. Too bad you don't have a silence on this door. Sultani to everyone. If you hear one more shot fired, execute the hostages. There's more of this. Tell your friends to come out and surrender. You can't fire your weapons, so why don't you drop them? Now! The mission was supposed to be trivial. Ideal for you to get to know your new team, they said. Oh really? Since when does trivial spell walk into a frickin' ambush? Masters got shot in the leg and kept fighting. We all did. Then the second bullet knocked him unconscious and we had to pull back. At least for the time being. So, that was the uh, intro cutscene. If you think story is important in the game, don't bother with this because uh, it's very simplistic. It's more or less there just to keep everything going, but for the most part, it's kind of silly with some, ex some extremely cheesy voice acting, which in some ways can be good. So anyway, I'm just here double checking if I have everything. No, I really don't need that much stuff. This is a really basic mission. Here's the plan. The really? local militia alone. Uh, you bet there's a Sorry, I'm just gonna skip out of this saga. It's a little pointless, so um to move you click on a soldier, click and drag to an area. Enemy spotted. It's a little uh weird to get used to. 
The issue with this game is it was originally made for tablets. And they didn't really change the control scheme that much, which is the number one issue I have with this game. They did not make a good transition from tablet to PC. I mean, you use your right, you hold on your right mouse and move it left and right to rotate your camera. You can use WASD to move the camera, pan it, which actually doesn't work that badly. And but just selecting different items and such just feels really awkward. Is the best way to put it. So if you have a tablet, like you have an iPad or an Android tablet, or even a good phone, like uh, a Note or one of the Galaxy S, like, uh, yeah, the Galaxy S4, I would say try it on tablet or your phone, whatever. I haven't used done it personally. I'm tempted to, but just something I haven't gotten to yet. But until then, I have the PC version, and what can I say? Kind of annoying to use, but it's manageable at least. The grid system is a little weird, um, I feel like there's no actual grid, which I kind of wish there was, so it's very clear exactly where everything is. But... Okay, here it is. Like, as you saw, when I moved, I used two eight action points. Um, each distance depends... or how many action points you use on moving depends on how far you're going. And you have two firing modes, where you have an aim shot and a snapshot. I'm not sure if it's actually called that, I'm just basing it off XCOM, because... XCOM. <laughs> Aim shot obviously is more accurate but requires more uh, action points. Typically I go with a uh, aim shot anyway just because usually it's more alive. Oh you can also double click on a spot to uh, have it move instead of clicking and dragging. So it's been a while since I played this game so uh, maybe getting a few things so my apologies about that. Anyway, other than that, so far from what I've played, I've only played a few missions, but, uh, it seems extremely easy, so... If you're looking for a challenge, like your more expert turn-based player game, this may prove to be kind of easy for you. I can't say that for the entire game, because I haven't played the entire game, but for the first three missions or so, it's really, really easy. So, consider this maybe a decent intro to strategy games, like if you've never been too big in turn-based strategy, you never quite got into it. Which, I don't blame you, because a lot of them are really, really difficult. This may be a good intro. For veterans, you may feel a little challenged, however. Um, where can I move you? Where you here should be- okay, yeah, here is good. Oh, hi! I don't know why you don't have a line- oh, I guess the door is kind of in the way. I just realized I probably should move the guy with the sniper rifle up here. Well, no one see me. I can just do that freely and not really care. Um, you can use numbers 1, 2, and 3 to switch between your units, which is kind of useful. Uh, just for ease of use. I'm just trying to explain the controls as I'm going by, so uh, you have a better understanding for that. Because sometimes the controls are actually pretty alright, other times they're pretty messed up, in all honesty. So we have everyone in control. Thankfully, all these guys have the FOV of a Call of Duty player, so they can't see me. Wow, that's five. Um, well, thank God they can't see me. This could be very bad very fast. Alright, do you have a line? Yes, you do. Who is far away? You are. Yes! If you're wondering, all healths, as far as I can tell, are from 100%. So, yeah. I'll take a snapshot. I'll take another snapshot! There we go. Endless wait. I don't think anyone actually got alerted. Oh, maybe? Yeah, there we go. I guess, uh... Wait, what? What'd you interrupt? But yeah, you automatically go into something like Overwatch if you're, you know, the new XCOM game, where if an enemy moves in your turn, or if an enemy is moving, you can fire at them during their turn as long as you're, you have enough action points and such. 
I'm bad at explaining it. I don't know what it is with me. There we go. Okay, is that pretty much everyone I saw initially? Hmm, that was easy. <laughs> so, in short, what I have to say about this game, my biggest critique of it is its lack of polish. I mean, as you can see, there's no music, which I'm pretty sure I didn't disable it. Maybe it was annoying I already disabled it. It's all the way up, and I I I hear no music, which I I I just feel like it's missing, honestly. I mean, I'm not asking for a masterful uh, soundtrack, but a little ambiance would be nice. The controls, this is coming from the fact they pretty much poured it straight from uh, a tablet interface to a keyboard and mouse, which <sighs> bugs me so much. And just polish in general, like it doesn't. The textures are kind of meh. Uh, I just feel like there's a bit to be desired for this game, but for a simple game, it's not really that bad. I think it's a great intro to uh, turn-based strategy games. If you've always been a little eh about it, partially because it's so cheap and it's a relatively simple, easy one. Veterans might feel uh, unchallenged, for example, as I've said before. But, uh, if you're a fan of turn-based strategy, let's face it, there's not many games for it out there. You're gonna take whatever you can get, and that was kind of my, uh, rationale behind getting this game. It's a genre that's unfortunately really ignored today, which I find disappointing, but I guess... I don't know, I really don't know. I guess people just aren't a turn-based today anymore. Anyway, let's try and get- Oh, come on! Die already! Also, damage, uh... Like, how much damage you do per shot seems very random at times. I mean, I can easily hit one person, kill them in one shot. And other times, it takes a few. I think there's some kind of damage fall-off system where, depending on the range, is how much damage you do. I really can't tell, however. And it does seem really, really random. Kind of like that! <laughs> Just random extra camera. So, what can I say? If you were into turn based strategy, you want to kind of poke around in it, give it a try. I think it's 10 bucks on Steam right now for the PC version, at the very least. I think it's like 5 bucks if you get it on iOS or Android. Um. So it's cheap, it's not that much, actually. So even if you don't like, or don't really like it, you haven't way, or lost that much. So, I, I recommend getting out a try if you like turn-based, or, that's all I can say really, I'm not going to give it a score, I don't believe in scores for uh, judging games. I'm a little weird like that, what can I say? Oh, crap, 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 reload. Also, how you select items for a, or other actions is kind of weird. You have to click on them, then click it again. Um, before, I had to, like, click and drag. It was really awkward. I don't know if I was just doing something wrong, which could have very well been the case. But it was just starting to bug me. There's no way I'm making that shot. Nope, thought so. Can you make the shot? Damn it! Sorry, I'm actually checking the price for now. I really am curious. It is five bucks currently on the Android market. So you're not really losing that much. There we go! Only got a 60 and a critical? Wow. Well, I'm not sure what criticals really are in this game, how much. If there's like some kind of multiplier or however that works. Or if it's just completely arbitrary, which it could very well be. 
Oh, come on, hit, shoot, hit. Damn it! And also, if you need a strategy game's turn base, prepare to miss a lot. Seems like in every strategy game, uh, if you uh, have a percentage to hit, it always seems off. You always seem to miss, even if you have like a 90% chance to hit. Like here, I'll show you! Damn it, game, it's supposed to work with me. And there we go. But no, just whole turn-based strategy, like, I kind of done with the review, like I said, try to feel like turn-based. Now I'm going to kind of go back to my old commentary. <laughs> uh, turn-based is just one of those genres I've always loved, but... Hasn't loved me, apparently, or anyone for that matter, because not many games that are turn-based come out for it. Enemy spot. I mean, there's XCOM, of course, we all know XCOM, and hopefully we all love XCOM. I know there's some people out there who don't like it, but screw you! Um, I remember my first video I said I actually mentioned Jagged Alliance, which isn't turn-based. I don't know why I thought it was. I guess that's because it had been years since I've played it. There's, uh... See, this is an issue. I like the genre, but I can't even really think of examples. Oh, yeah, that was Final Fantasy Tactics. That was actually pretty good. Um, I'm not really a Final Fantasy fan, but Tactics is actually a really good game. If you haven't tried it, check it out. But the most strategy games now are real-time, which, don't get me wrong, real-times are just fine. I like StarCraft, for example. Uh, occasionally Company of Heroes and Dawn of War with a couple of friends. But there's just something about turn-based strategy I always enjoy. I, I was one of the weird kids back in elementary school who liked playing chess. That's kind of the person I am. So, wait, where's my objective again? Uh, oh yeah, you have a map. That's great. Okay. I'm glad they fixed a lot of balancing issues in this game, because when the beta was out, it, for the most part, was more effective to just run to your enemies and punch them. Well, you don't really punch, you use your knife to stab them, but it honestly looked like you were punching them. And there's just something wrong about that. This is Arma, not Call of Duty. Arma's very realistic. Call of Duty's more of a fast-paced, hey, let's just kill each other kind of thing. It just didn't fit. That's another reason this game kind of confuses me. Who the hell made, or decided that Arma should be a strategy game? I don't know who made it, um, I don't think Bohemia made it, that's what the Steam page claims, but I don't think that's correct. I could simply be wrong about that, I remember reading somewhere that, uh, someone else made it, so I really can't tell. I'll put it down in the description if I figure that out. Why'd you stop? Enemy oh, hi! where did you come from? I don't think I actually have to eliminate every enemy in this level, thankfully. I'm probably going to anyway, but I don't have to. Yeah, nice shot, lad. Come oh, that could have been bad. Come on. Yes! Oh, hi! In fact, I'm gonna punch this guy. Enemy spotted. I probably shouldn't have punched him. Or going to. What? No! Why did you. Ah! I guess I have to click the knife icon. I forgot. Well, now that you were stopped trying to suck his dick and he's dead. Okay, that was actually immature. I'm sorry about that. I tried not to do too many immature jokes like that. Too late! Have you reload? <sighs> so yeah, if you guys actually want to watch me, or have me play more strategy games, tell me to do so. Um, I actually do plan on playing Enemy Within when it comes out, because I'm, as I said before, I'm a massive XCOM fan. Like, XCOM is one of my favorite games ever made. Both the original and the, uh, even the remastering. A lot of old school fans of XCOM didn't like the new one, and... I don't know, I don't see why, I mean, yes, it was streamlined, but is streamlining necessarily a bad thing? I don't think it is. Okay, 
Yes, move there so you can stab him. Are you gonna stab? No? Crap! Oh, whatever. Ah. I think I'll be fine next turn, I hope. Unless he turns around. May that AK ends up being a Sega, not his AK. And he's completely oblivious, even though my gun is going straight through him. Huzzah! <laughs> what? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> yeah, just put your hands up. That. That's a great idea. Actually, I don't think they would have really shot them. I don't think that's how the works. I don't know, though. I'm not a shoulder. They're shoulder. I'm not a shoulder. No, not at all. But mission accomplished. So yeah, that is Arma Tactics. Man, <laughs> it's alright, don't get me wrong, just... Two veteran turn-based games, it's just a or gamer's just disappointing, it's not that great, but it's a cheap title, fun for a few missions. To those who are new to turn-based, it's easy enough to get into. Plus it carries the Arma title, which hopefully brings in more people to the turn-based genre. So anyway, thank you for watching. This has been Arma Tactics. If you have any requests, leave them down in the comments below or shoot me a PM. I will see to it. So thank you for watching. There will be four videos like this come out soon. I will see you in the next video. Hopefully, see you. Goodbye.